born and bred sort of Sydney girl and lived in Sydney and Melbourne and cities all my life really. Yeah, but I think sometimes people are born in the wrong place. <laughs> I guess we'd always um, been quite outdoors people. We'd always liked going bushwalking and being outside in, in nature and always enjoyed being in the bush. Um, I think we, we'd always thought that one day we'd really like to buy a property and live there. And I think originally we thought we might just have a little property outside of Sydney that you'd visit on the weekends or something like that with a longer term aim of living permanently um, in the country. But we'd always wanted to sort of have a place where, I guess we had this little fantasy about buying a rural property that was a bit degraded and working on it to rehabilitate it or reforest it or whatever. And about two years ago now, I guess, David was just searching through Good weekend, or no, you know that, uh, what do you call it? Domain, that's it, that's what it's called. And saw an ad for properties for sale by the Nature Conservation Trust of New South Wales, which had as its mandate really to um, sell properties that had conservation quality land or conservation quality bush on it. He came here and had, look, I was in China at the time, and I think he just fell in love with the place. <laughs> Two thirds of the property is conservation is protected under a conservation covenant with the Nature Conservation of New South Wales as a, as an offset to the Tarkata bypass. Yeah, and then the other third we're free to do whatever we like to it, or whatever we like with it. And yeah, we've it's it's sheep country, so we decided that we would um, try a hand at raising lamb. You know, some of the first aims were just, you know, to establish a fruit and vegetable garden and, um, you know, get some chooks and start off with a small herd of sheep and work towards selling produce at local farmers markets and so on. So that's all happened pretty quickly. I think there's longer term aims of um, um, wanting to run the farm in a sort of regenerative fashion so there's one thing to sort of you know just look after the conservation part of the property and make sure that that's that's going well but I think we we want to treat the grazing part of the of the property as part of that regeneration as well so through better grazing techniques and sensible stocking rates of animals on the property and um, aiming to improve the native pasture, improve the soil and um, lessen runoff and all of those things that we've been doing so badly as, a, you know, <laughs> as agricultural people for, for so long. So often you can be focused on doing doing something um, and sometimes actually to sit back and actually watch the property for a year or so is really instructive. You see where, you know, this, this type of native grass grows, you see where the weeds were bad last year, you see, um, um, you see where the animals walk and and where the where tracks you see you see all sorts of things and um so i think w you know what watching and looking is really it it's not a passive thing if you engage with it, it's an active thing you learn through that My old friends from sydney say oh you were you're in the middle of nowhere and i go well i live practically on the corner of three major highways um, the dirt, the Hume and the, and the Snowy Mountains. So it's not far to anywhere. We have internet access here. We have, you know, we, our mobiles work, you know, 
we're far enough away and yet in t you know close enough to to deal with any issues and I think you know one of the reasons we came was because of the quiet because you don't hear the highway you don't you're not surrounded by lots of people so the quiet is one of the things we wanted mm. I guess the only the only downside is unlike in the city there's no anonymity here that you know and um, people sometimes have heard about you before you've even met them yeah but I think that's okay you just have to remember that you everyone knows everyone here I don't find that oppressive I find that I find that really nice There's big challenges, you know, there's lots to do, um, but, and sometimes you think you're not um, going anywhere, but then when I look back, we've only been here 16 months, and there's a vegetable garden that feeds us, there's, you know, we eat our own, we eat our own vegetables, we eat our own meat, you know, I'm selling excess to a market once a week. Yeah, it's happening, really.